morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Encinitas. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Monday, December 4th. You'll be interested to know today is National Cookie Day. Get ready to refill your cookie jar. Maybe you prefer your cookies to have a crunchy snap, or maybe you'd rather bite into soft and chewy sugary heaven. Either way, eating cookies brings us happiness, and we should all do it more often. Just don't tell your doctor. 21 more days until Christmas, folks. Now let's check out the weather in the North County area. This morning, it's mostly cloudy and 52 degrees, with 73% humidity. Tonight, the sun will set at 4.42 p.m., and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.35 a.m. It looks like we're in for a day with mostly sun, with a high near 63. Light north wind becoming northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Tonight, partly cloudy, with a low around 53. North wind around 5 miles per hour, becoming calm in the evening. Looking ahead, Tuesday brings sunshine and a high of 66, with a calm morning turning to a westward breeze. Nights stay clear around 54. Wednesday remains sunny at 65, with patchy fog overnight. Thursday and Friday offer mostly sunny days, patchy fog, and highs of low 60s. The weekend starts sunny with a high near 64 on Saturday. That's why we live here, folks. Sun, sun, sun. Now here is some info from Surfline.com. The majority of spots see fading surf into Monday, but the best northwest breaks maintain fun size. As the current swell mix trends down, average breaks also fall off in size over the next couple days. The most noticeable drop-off will be at breaks that prefer the short period energy. Look for the surf to come down below waist. South-facing zones will be quite small, generally below knee-high, and only marginally rideable at best. There will be a steep-angled, mid-period, northwest swell that will sneak into the top winter zones. Look for waste to chest-high waves from this steep energy, possibly getting up to shoulder-high in South San Diego. All that to say, it's looking pretty sloppy and small until Wednesday. Maybe do some yoga in the mornings this week until the surf picks up again. The first low tide today will be three feet just before 9 a.m. with a four-foot high tide at 1.40 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 62 degrees for the water temperature. In the national weather, winter storm and heavy rain impact portions of the west. Rain across the southeast shifts into the mid-Atlantic. Heavy rain, high elevation snow, and high winds will continue in the Pacific Northwest, Rockies, and parts of the Great Basin through the weekend. River flooding, flash flooding, and brief flows will also be possible near recent burn scars. Strong storms with heavy downpours will impact the Gulf Coast into the southeast through. And now, a greeting from our sponsor. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real, south, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5. Don't forget to tell them Sunny sent you. In top news, Michigan, Washington, Texas, and Alabama are the chosen teams for the college football playoff this year, marking the first time an undefeated Power 5 champion, Florida State, fails to make the top four. Injuries to Florida State's quarterbacks influence the decision. 
Michigan and Washington, both undefeated conference champions, are joined by Texas, who booked its first playoff trip, and Alabama, securing a spot with a win over Georgia. The semifinal matchups feature Michigan vs. Alabama and Washington vs. Texas, airing on New Year's Day and leading to the national championship on January 8. Poor, poor undefeated Florida State, despite being ACC champion, is facing Georgia in the Orange Bowl. Their quarterback injuries raise doubts about their competitiveness. ACC Commissioner Jim Phillips and FSU Athletic Director Michael Alford criticized the committee, emphasizing that the Seminoles deserved better. Alabama's win against Georgia ensures their eighth playoff appearance, maintaining the SEC's presence in the playoff. The SEC has dominated the college football playoff era, winning six of the nine championships. Now let's talk science and technology. Forward, a new startup, plans to deploy autonomous A doctor's offices called CarePod clinics in malls, office buildings, and gyms. These shed-sized pods offer private checkups and health assessments covering various vitals using AI technology. Memberships start at $99 per month, excluding insurance billing. The company aims to democratize healthcare, making it accessible anytime and anywhere. Forward recently secured $100 million in capital to manufacture and deploy these pods, with initial deployment in the San Francisco Bay Area, New York, Chicago, and Philadelphia. Their flagship medical facilities resemble Apple stores and focus on cost, accessibility, and quality. Moving to the stock market. This week's earnings calendar includes notable reports. On Monday, GitLab and Science Applications is expected to report. On Tuesday, AutoZone is set to disclose with high expectations. Moving to Wednesday, Chewy, the online pet store, and GameStop. Finally, on Thursday, Broadcom anticipates poor earnings with a drop of 4% while Lululemon is expected to report earnings increasing 14% year over year. We'll see about that. And in more sports. In college football, we already mentioned the playoff team announcements. So here's how the games shook out, impacting those decisions. Number five, Oregon lost to number three, Washington, 34 to 31, to crown the Pac-12 champion. Number one, Georgia, lost to number eight, Alabama, 27 to 24, for the SEC championship. And number two, Michigan, destroyed Iowa, 26 to Zippo, for the Big Ten championship. Number 14, Louisville, fell to number four, Florida State, 16 to six, for the ACC championship. And number 18, Oklahoma State, lost to number seven, Texas, 49 to 21 for the Big 12. Last night on Sunday Night Football, the Packers, playing at home, beat the Chiefs 27 to 19. The Chargers beat the Patriots on the road 6 to nothing in a drenched snooze fest. I'm sure the Chargers will be happy to get back to California this week for more sunshine and surf. And the Rams beat the Browns 36 to 19. In a big NFC matchup, the Eagles, playing at home, got absolutely smoked by the 49ers, 42-19. The 49ers continue to show they are the team to beat. And finally, tonight, on Monday Night Football, the Bengals are on the road against the Jacks. In the NBA, on Saturday, the Lakers won at home against the Rockets, 107-97 and the Clippers on the road beat the Warriors 113 to 112. Tonight, the in-season tournament starts with Celtics at Pacers and Pelicans at Kings. Apparently, the NDA is now so boring that they had to spice things up with some silly, inconsequential tournament. 
Good luck with that. Speaking of boring, in national hockey. On Friday, the Ducks beat the Avalanche 4-3. And Sunday, the Kings beat the Avalanche 4-1. Moving on to more of a local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national studio in your area to bring you some free classes. So listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in North and South San Diego County. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Integrating mindful movements, it positively influences overall vitality. Scientific research affirms its benefits, connecting Pilates to enhanced core strength, improved flexibility, and better posture. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class. They have locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Be sure to tell them that Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to our show. In local news, San Diego County beaches are facing water contact closures and advisories due to elevated bacteria levels, prompting health officials to issue warnings. Closed areas include Imperial Beach Shorelines, Silver Strand Shoreline, Coronado Shoreline, and Tijuana Slow Shoreline. Advisories are issued for La Jolla, Children's Pool, Cove Beachline, Mission Bay, De Anza Cove, Campland Beachline, San Diego Bay, Ocean Beach, Dog Beach, Tourmaline Surf Park, and Pacific Beach. Stay informed about water quality before heading to these beaches by checking www.sdbeachinfo.com. And in entertainment news, the most anticipated TV and streaming shows for December include Prime Video's Reacher, Season 2 premiering December 15. Apple TV's Slow Horses Season 3, streaming now, and Netflix's The Crown Season 6. Part 2, continuing the historical drama on the British royal family, on December 14. Also of note, Episode 5 of A Murder at the End of the World drops in our lap Tuesday. I could have just waited to tell you this tomorrow but I want to give you advance notice, so you have time to get out of whatever plans you mistakenly made. Okay. Well, already, folks, it's time for the thought of the day. Your Monday morning thoughts set the tone for your whole week. So this week, see yourself getting stronger and living a fulfilling, happier, and healthier life. If you can see it, you can be it. I got you. I always got you. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends. Whether you're heading to work, an event, or just enjoying the day, stay safe and enjoy yourself to the fullest. We'll be back tomorrow with another Sunny Mornings podcast. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>